What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Man, we are out here pre-spawn fishing at its finest. Don't know exactly what we're going to get into today, but I have a special guest. Somebody that I would say is one of the biggest hammers, up-and-comers as well. But, hey, don't don't let him fool you. This sucker can catch him. My boy, Kyle Welcher. A lot of you probably follow him on his YouTube channel. We're going to see if we can't get into him. We're on a different lake at a different time. And pre-spawn fishing in general, man, it's like... Uh, it, it's it's a fun time to get out here and you don't normally tend to get a ton of bites but normally right. they're a little bit better than average right and, and you always know that even if you have a bad day any day now is going to happen it's coming together you know where they're headed you know what they want to do <laughs> and they want to get up here and bite a dang bait so you always have the potential of really really bust them in the pre-spawn and like you said a lot of really really big ones even if you don't get many bites so maybe we can string it together today that's what we're going to do so follow along we're going to we got a few reaction baits up there it's warm up we, it's warmed up a little bit it's like a more of like a warming trend so hopefully these fish want to cooperate and we can find a, a mother load all right so right here we sort of have the line up we got a couple lipless crankbaits like a three-quarter half a couple crankbaits like more of like a square bill dt6 spinnerbait got a jig vibrating jigs we're gonna sort of see what's going on i would assume water temperature says it's 56.8 but it's not probably that warm right now we just put the trolling motor down so probably somewhere in the low 50s cloudy day Let's see if we can't catch a couple. It's like them seconds are like literally right there. Could be a crappie, you never know. Freaking white bass. Bite? Yeah, go with First one of the day. Got us for Son of a gun. Look he at you. you. There you go. That's how you want to eat it. Water's got cleaned up a little, cleaned up a little bit. We fished a lot of rock. That, that one came off wood. So. Really? Yeah. Huh. You gotta start somewhere, Dave Nabbit. Chocolate milk. Got a little stain to him on this side, a little clean water on that. Oh gosh, dang. Jabber jaw. Try to see if I can't catch one off him. There he is. Yeah. Right where he's supposed to be sitting. Oh. Uh, little, little chunker, man. God, dude, that sucker's <laughs> built, dude. Pre spawner right there. Bad sucker. No offense. <laughs> That's like right there is like literally a 15 incher. Uh, he's probably 14 and a half. That's, a, that's like a 2 4. <laughs> I know. So fat. <laughs> it's so funny. Perfect where he's supposed to be. You gotta measure him and you're like glad to have him. You're yeah, like, dang, damn, son. Thank you for biting that cricket. Was he in the mud or on the clear? He's on the clear. You got it. You want right there. Number three. Look at that dang jabber jaw choked. Thanks, buddy. Fish? Did you really? That's what happened. Yeah, I, I rolled up there, then I come off of whatever that little clump, clump and it just like locked up. Good little move to come through the shoot. Yeah, I mean, it's not been bad. Want to stay a little plug around? Cool. Got Rick? Ah, uh, not saying what I'm just saying, you know? Freak. I have a chance to get it. There's over there. Yeah, in that grass. That's where the green grass is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we've already caught, well, three, four. Yeah, four. Four, four on a, on a, uh, one on a jerk bait, a couple on a crank bait, but running rip wrap. So I'm gonna keep switching some stuff up. Seem like they like that red color and that, that jabber jaw. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a dang. I think I'm gonna try a red vibrating jig. You know, like when you're out here fun fishing, you just gotta have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta like play around with stuff, grab baits out. We're not pressing for no tournament or nothing, so get in here. I think I actually have one here somewhere. Yeah, I thought I had him right there. Huh. I'm gonna try this one. Seems like more of a red. So like rule of thumb, like, that's what I like. I'm just gonna go ahead and 
pick him up and black blade i might even put a little green pumpkin on him to dull him down the water's not super super clear it's pretty stained in some of these places but i might put like a green pumpkin trailer on him just to dull him down just a tad this guy back up let's see what we got here and i might have taken him out though spawn the bang Right? Yeah. The freaking wind in the boat. Almost hit the GoPro. Hey, man. It's all good. I don't like it. I'm not getting bit pretty easy. That should have been, we should have got a bit right there. I'll, see, I like that flat. See, like, that's all I would have fished in here, probably. Yeah. A little corner. Maybe you slung back into that little drain. Yeah, Call one right there. First lip was bite. Smallest one so far of the day. Trying to find a school of them. Oh, Slim Jim. <laughs> a little. I'm like, I would just fire out of the bank. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the drive well worth it. <laughs> Go past Chickamauga <laughs> to come here and get the 11-inch. Hey, man, you got it. You got it. You got to switch him up. Oops. Fish. Train wreck. Every time I'm like, hey, let's go. I'm talking about this sucker's been waiting his whole life for this thing to come by. Train wrecked Dude. it. Dude, I've been waiting on you, boy. <laughs> That's awesome. Crushed it. <laughs> you keep hitting stuff like that, you're going to get fried at some day. <laughs> you better not do that, man. Come on now. Chill. Down. You oh. chill. They don't really get in them really that great. Oh. Big? No. I, I feel good though. I got, that's two casts, two bites. They've been the Bad smaller one. ones than the one of the rock. I'm going to be a little female. Uh uh. Pre spawner. <laughs> Pre spawn 12 inch here, man. But I, I did get two bites like right there back to back. One thing I, I like to do, like when I'm throwing a trap in general, is like to try, like I like to just like let it fall back down to the bottom. Okay. Like, and it's like, it seems like the best trap, and I'm not a good trap fisherman, but it seems like the best trap fisherman always like yo yo their stuff and like, like just, just, you know, just drop it and pull it. And they're really good at visualizing what they're fishing. Yeah. And, and they can make the bait maximize. Like, the, all is it the sort of, doing. yeah. There's a lot more to a trap than just winding your stuff down the bank. Don't get me wrong, you can catch some doing that. Yeah, you get train wrecked once Every once in a while, you just throw it up there on the inside grass slide, and <laughs> so you just start lighting them up. But but I've also been in scenarios where I'm like, say I'm throwing a lipless crank bent on a flat, and my cone will be whooping my butt. And it's like, what in the world? Like, what's going on? And you're just like, man, like, whatever reason, a color, gear ratio, like all them hammers down in Texas, like all them like, like Dickie Newberry is probably one of the best trap fishermen I know. Probably just like them guys have done it so much. They have rods rigged with this pound line, this gear ratio, and this depth. It's just crazy. You can get really dialed in or you just wind yourself around and catch them. <laughs> it happens both ways. So no. they put EWG on the back because the line ties, the line ties right here, right? There, swap it up. Not a big. We're gonna catch some big in a day. I said I hopped it up. It went bump, bump. Like I'm sitting there. I'm like, got it off that little lip. Bite. Uh oh. Might have found a little wad of them. Folks at home. Folks. All these electronics on the boat, you want to make sure you have the exact line up. So your buddy just caught one, so you can get in there before he can. It's all about the line up. It is. You know exactly where he got his last line. Line them up. That's good. That's awesome. Dude, that sucker not... I mean, I've had like, we've had like five bites in this little corner. And just a little push. See, like, a, just a little push. I did the same thing. I hopped it up. Yeah. Doink. You know, go all that time and smoke it. Get it. A little better one. That's a good one. A little better one right there. 
Oh, there we go. There's a chunky one. It's a common one here right there. All right. So we've been going back and forth, hopping jig, throwing a jerk bait, throwing her dang crank bait, and we finally got us a pretty decent sized bite. That thing was not coming off. Shad color. I mean, he not. That's close to a three pounder bite. Oh yeah. Three pounder. Yeah. Three pounder. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can't catch another. We found them named twelve inch group. Oh, you caught them. We caught two and one cat. <laughs> you got two. We both got doubled up on that one place. But about that, that's about it. Two, they knock slack and you're like, like, oh, there he is. It's a big one. Another one? Yeah. Better one for sure. There you go. A little better. All right. Yeah, they're getting the front hook, too. They are. Man. Look at them suckers right there in front of us interesting now like they're like on the we're literally sitting on this little point sitting about five foot of water casting up sort of shower closer to the main channel be a good little place for them to set up good i'm telling you any cast they were going to be big and the big it they're big it i'm talking about a big big it it might even be like a bait change too like you catch one of this or catch one of like a swim bait and it seems like it's inside grass line. Oh, dang. he said, uh uh, you ain't getting away from me. Get him again. I got it. How big is he? About four pounds? Four and a half. We got one hooking deeper than those. Okay, I'll, I'll take your time with him. I'm here, buddy. Big old chunker, man. <laughs> Let's go. Finally got us one on lip wish. Oh yeah, that's a pretty fish. About a four and a half pounder, about three and a half. Yeah. Pretty nice fish though. Loco special. Oh man. Shallower diver. Really paused that for a while. Really paused it for a while. Worse, 52, 53. Pretty fish though. See you later, buddy. Dude, they are on that clump hard. Your bait's pretty high right there. Oh, there's one on it though. No, there's not. Oh, you're pulling him up. Oh, he's coming. Pull, stop, stop, stop. Pull. Unreal. Dude, they are on that clump though. God. I can see it from a long way. Do you notice that? Yeah. Like they can see it from a long ways. There he is. Dude, you watch, dude, I'll watch that crap. <laughs> Dude, oh, that's really so much fun. I love it, man. Caught me one on that jerk plug. All right, you gotta go ahead, go ahead, get you one. <laughs> you gotta get you one, you know what I'm saying? Gosh, dang, that sucker went. Go to there you go. Another solid fish. I'm just, I'm just interested because we have not weighed in really any fish this week today, and we've got like 14 pounds probably or so. 14 and a half. I, I'm gonna say that fish goes 240. 240? Yeah. That's a 287. 287, man, I don't, even, man, I don't know, man. Oh, he's probably a 260. Yeah, he's probably a 260, I'll say that. 257. All right, so yeah, we got us about, I'm gonna say 14 pounds so far today. No great giant ones, but we caught a couple. All right, so update. We finally sort of figured out a little bit of a deal. We've caught quite a few fish between lip waves, caught some on a jabber jaw, caught some on a jerk bait. Um, and we just got on this deal with basically fishing grass. Don't jerk bait. Yeah. Seems like a lot of these fish are just sort of related to this grass. I'll show you guys sort of what it looks like. There's some of that, it's old grass, like eight foot deep, you know, eight foot deep, stuff like that. And you can sort of see some of it on the side scan, a little bit of it. That's the kind of stuff, you know, we're looking for. There's place where these fish are gonna be, before they pull up to spawn, that's where they're gonna set up at. So that's basically what we're looking for. And we're throwing that jerk bait over it um, and letting these fish sort of, some of them are coming up and actually showing themselves on like four faces out on that active target. So pretty freaking legit. <laughs> it's pretty, it's a lot of fun. But you know, regardless, it just seems, and then some of them you can see, some of them you can't, but that's definitely seems to be the deal so far. So we're gonna look and try to find us a couple more places that look promising and see if we can catch a couple. 
There he is. There you go. Hey, Kyle done got him one right here. Look at that sucker. A little chunky one. Chunky one. Now, that's a dang chunky right there. Gosh dang, son. Look at you. <laughs> dang, no. We got cameras off. We're trying to save clips. We got everything off. Literally. It just is what it is, man. And I'm getting him off for you. Unreal. <laughs> I'm gonna weigh this. What, what, what's the guess on this? One? That's a, that's over a three pounder. That's a that's a three twenty six. I might be at three twenty six. I'm gonna call. I'm saying three fifteen. Three fifteen. I'm calling three twenty six. Three thirty two. Do it. We 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 are on. We're getting on a little baby bag right here. We're getting on a little baby bag. A little baby bag. Fish. Got him. Hey. Let's freaking go, son. I got that lipless out. I'll see you. Oh, one hook. They're not swimming. <laughs> yeah, I hate when they roll like that until they get the show barely hooked. I know. He got in the gill plate, though. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. You got him. You go back and forth. Jerk bait, trap. Jerk bait, trap. It's just so random. It has. That's the only thing is, like, they're all good chunky fish. You don't, you don't have to ask me twice. I'll throw my stuff out there. You doink it? You Not really. But just, like, load up? Yeah, you can just kind of tell. You know how it's just, like, instinctually you just know it's a fish on there, you know? Yeah, you. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're about to call it a day. Hey, it's a lot colder right now than it was when we started. It seemed like every fish we caught, it dropped two degrees. <laughs> I so we, we should have caught about six less. <laughs> <laughs> it did. We got that wind. I, I can tell. We didn't bring a whole lot of clothes. And Kyle's just like, like, dude, it's so good. Ain't that warm? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. We caught we caught a few though. We did. Yeah, we, we we had to catch over ten. Yeah, yeah. we had to. Yeah. For sure. I mean, we didn't catch any great big giants. We caught. I think we caught two or three, three plus pounders. Yeah. You know, it's right in the three pound range, yeah. which is, you know, a good day for a half day trip. Caught them on a lipless crank bait. Caught a few on a jerk bait. Uh, caught a few on a little square bill with that jabber jaw. So it was sort of a hodgepodge pre-spawn kind of day. Never found that big giant group. Yeah. But I mean, it was, hey, it was fun. I appreciate you coming out with us. It was fun. Definitely it, fun. It was a good time. We didn't catch any big, great big giant ones, but we always, it's always, always a chance next time. Um, hey guys, if you guys don't follow my boy Kyle Welcher, I'll put his, his link to his channel in the description below. Check him out. He's constantly posting some really good stuff. And uh, hey, we gotta get out here one more time because it ain't big next time. Great we'll, big. We'll pay a little bit better attention to the weather next time, be a little more prepared, and catch a little bit bigger bass. So. That is the plan. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.